Hey, good evening. I'm really happy to have you here. My name is Daniel, I was a professional opera singer and beatboxer, and tonight we're gonna be listening to Improver's Supermassive Black Hole cover from Muse. So, it's been a little while since Improver uploaded a solo video, and I'm really excited to jump into it. I think Improver's style has always been very consistent, and he just keeps adapting and growing and evolving as an artist, and I'm just really excited to jump into this, and I hope you are as well. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. Wild. <laughs> his groove, his spit snare was so, so crisp. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever heard a spit snare sound so full and not like a spit snare. Like, if I was not watching him do that snare, I could easily mistake that for an inward K just because of how robust it sounded, how full it sounded. Because typically with spit snares, there's a myriad of different types of spit snares that I've heard depending on the beatboxer. But for context, mine is and it sounds a little staticky almost, but his are just so clean and crisp and have so much body to them. And oh my gosh, dude. And his whole groove is so consistent and it just grows throughout the entirety of the piece and his slides are so well placed and executed. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I wanna hear this again. Let's jump into the analysis. Just immediately starting off. Just right off the bat, capturing you in this groove. First second into the video. Oh my gosh, I love that it's just no time wasted. Immediately, yeah, dude. Woo! Gosh, just that transition work was so smooth. Into that inward bass, no less. Just a new texture, something so much more grounding and gritty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh! And his pitch control is crazy, especially with an inward bass. <laughs> Oh, baby, don't you know? 
just that transition from his throat bass into his head voice. <clears throat> oh, baby. Just, he makes it seem so effortless, dude, but that's some tough stuff. It takes total vocal control. <laughs> Don't you know I so far? Oh baby, can you hear me more? You got me on the fails for dances. How long before you let me go? That was a cool effect, but that was done through mixing and mastering. How long before you let me go? Just his transition between his throat bass into his regular voice. It's so clean. So the beatboxer who started that is an OG beatboxer named Bobbly. And the beatboxer who further improved upon that would be Codfish. And I know Improver takes great inspiration from Codfish. So the fact that he's actually utilizing this technique, even though it's not as fast as Codfish or Bobbly's here, it's so clean and so well integrated into the structure of the piece. And it he makes it seem so effortless, but that is tough stuff, making it not just very consistent every time he does it, but making it just actually sound really good too. It's so good. For context, me doing that transition work, like, it's mind-blowing what he's doing here. Like I was mentioning, it may not be as fast as Bobbly or Codfish, but it's still very fast, and it's so consistent and smooth, and it flows. Like, it doesn't sound gritty like mine does. <laughs> Oh, I love how big he's making this sound. He's really biting down on this sound, on this transitionary effect, just to lead into the next cadence. But you still get that same throat bass vocal texture, and he's just biting down on it, creating so much space in his mouth to allow the sound to reverberate in his mouth, but create that dampened effect. And that is so, so nice. I've never heard a beatboxer utilize this dampened effect with this kind of texture. It's Crazy dude. You set my soul. Oh! I love the fact that you get that bum ba da dum and all of that just done in the throat bass. Uh, it's so high for a throat bass too. <laughs> it's just so bad. But for him, it's just so clean. It sounds like that's his natural register for the throat bass. And that's really high. It's crazy, dude. It's so good. <laughs> Just that lip bass. My lip bass doesn't have as much body as his does, but it's just so clean. He incorporates his own style, doing his special sound in terms of his variation on the throat bass there, but it's just, his combinations here are so dynamic. <laughs> Gosh, I love that he and Terrace utilize that lip roll because there are so many different types of lip rolls, but doing that 
Oftentimes, I'll see beatboxers utilize that sound in the way of just making that the primary drop sound. But he's just incorporating that lip roll into the rest of the groove, and it sounds so good. Ah, just that ending sound. It's so grimy, but it fits the tonal atmosphere of the piece so well, dude. I love it. Oh, bro, improver. That was awesome, my guy. <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> really, that was awesome, brother. Really, really dig that. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike and let me know why in the comments below. I do read all of the comments, even if I may not harder reply to all of them, so please know that your comments do not go unnoticed. My live streams are currently Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if you guys would like to stop by and say hey or ask any questions about myself or the channel, I'd be more than happy to be there for you guys. I am experimenting with live streams a little bit longer right now, but if they don't turn out as well over the next few weeks, I will most likely just start creating community posts, just asking questions, and I will most likely just compile all of those and answer them in a Q&A video. I want to take this time to appreciate all of you for being here. I truly do appreciate it, and thank you so much honestly, and I can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Have a great rest of your evening, everyone.